What is the difference between an ARIA and a recitative? Is there any difference at all? Hello everybody, my name is Moses Toto from Team Tenna and welcome to another episode of Classical Experience. So in today's episode, we'll be looking at the difference between a recitative or what is a recitative and also what is an ARIA. Stay tuned. So first of all, let's look at what an ARIA is. So basically an ARIA is a piece or a song that is accompanied by, uh, you know, an orchestra or a piano or whatever, but it is melodic and it has a few um, lines or a few words which are sung over and over again with different emphasis at different points. So then the main point of the aria is the person will express whatever is feeling in a very few ways with the music and it's accompanied by you know the accompaniment whether an orchestra or a piano or whatever so this is an example of an aria Now let's look at the word recitative or recitative as the English people call it. If you can say that word again and again and again. So the recitative it simply means to recite. Okay, so here we have um much or majority of the the dialogue or the storyline being said in the recitative. So the singer will say or will sing so many words in a speech like manner. So the difference is that with the recitative, the singing is no more like a melodic singing, but it's like we are reciting the words with pitches. So it's like you are speaking with pitches. So in this case, there are a few accompaniments that goes with it. So there are two types of recitative. We have the recitative circle, which is the dry recitative. In this case, whilst the singer is doing the speech-like singing, there are a few chords that are accompanying. So basically, the dry, uh, the circle recitative, we have a few chords that are accompanying the singers. It is usually done with a harpsichord. Yes, so the, the chords are straightforward, then the singer is singing blah, 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 till the next chord, till the next chord. Then we have the recitative accompaniato. So in this case, it's the same speech-like singing, but in this case, the orchestra is accompanying the singer during, you know, the, um, the recitative. So the difference is that with the um, recitative circle, the only the harpsichord accompanies or harpsichord and the cello who accompany the singer and in the accompaniato the orchestra accompanies the singer during the reciting <laughs> So as I said in the recitative, most of the storyline or the dialogue in the storyline is packed into the recitative. This makes the storyline move faster if we try and sing all the words in the, the opera or the oratorio. 
it will take forever before or it will take a lot of work for the composer to write all the music um, for all the words. Ain't nobody got time for that. So usually what the composers do is they fix much of the storyline into the recitative then they put the very important parts of the storyline into the areas which are sung with few words but with um, complex uh, accompaniments. So during the recitative, the, um, the singer incorporates some elements of phrasing. So since it's like a speech-like singing, storytelling is very important. So the singer will sing like he's telling a story. So he will sing like he's talking, but it basically he's talking by he's using pitches to talk which the composer has written. And usually with the recitative, the composer doesn't really add bar lines on the score because it's a free type of singing. It's a free rhythm. The singer is left, you know, to do whatever he wants to do with the phrasing. So it depends on how the singer wants to do it, how fast or slow, incorporating all the elements of phrasing to make it more interesting and more understandable to the audience. Usually after the recitative, after the, comp the singer sees whatever he has to see, then it's usually followed by the big aria after the recitative. <sighs> Remember guys, stay hydrated. Yes, yeah, so basically uh, the recitative and the aria are in the same opera or oratorio or whatsoever but they come at different points and they make different impacts in the in the whole piece so there's a saying that while singing the recitative the singer should be an actor who is singing so the emphasis is on the the way the singer is expressing the words and everything that's the point well, you see, actors, they usually talk whilst they are doing their work. So, in the theater, of course. While singing, the singer should be an actor who is singing. And while singing um, uh, an aria, the singer should be a singer who is acting. So, it's like the vice versa. So, the singer is a singer. So, the singing is the most important part, but the acting is the peripheral part. I hope you understand. I'm even confused with what I just said. It's too much information. <laughs> So guys, yes, let me know in the comment section below what you think of the recitative and the aria. Yes, so let me know what you think is the difference and make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's very, very important. Like click on the subscribe button right now and also like this video and also share this video. Like my Facebook page also, which is Tintena. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.